5 Reasons Everyone Should Own a Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag But before that, I want to say that I'm glad you're on my channel. Welcome to Haim's Luxury Vlog. If you're keen on investing in a piece, then weighing your options is a very important step. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We talk about here all about luxury brands. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Launched in 1930 as the Express and inspired by the era's rapid transit, today's updated Speedy remains a timeless house icon, with its unmistakable silhouette, rolled leather handles and engraved, signature padlock. Your back collection shouldn't be missing a Louis Vuitton Speedy, but if it is, I've got a few things you might want to consider. 5. If it was good enough for Audrey Hepburn, it should be good enough for most of us. Grace Kelly may have been a fan of Hermes, but Audrey Hepburn was continually photographed wearing her favorite Louis Vuitton Speedy. Some people may say that the bag is played out, but don't let people who chase labels dissuade you from enjoying a bag that has an important historical place in the lineage of the luxury handbag. With all of the different size and design permutations, there's a Speedy out there to suit every style. 4. The shape can fit in any woman's wardrobe. Speedies range in size from petite to quite large, and if you'd rather not wear a bag on your arm, the Tarn offers a crossbody strap to keep you hands-free. The brand's purists will caution against using it, but crossbodies have become so very modern in the past year that wearing a Speedy as a messenger might actually be a good way to update it. Once you've decided how to carry it, even the 25cm version has plenty of room for all of your daily essentials. 3. Louis Vuitton bags are practically indestructible. This one requires little explanation for a true bag lover. Even people that aren't Vuitton fans know that their bags are historically very well made, particularly the traditional styles. Also, if your Speedy were to require repair, Vuitton has better service for those kinds of things than almost any other brand I can think of, save for Hermes. As I mentioned previously, however, good luck finding an Hermes bag for less than a grand. 2. Don't like monogram? There are dozens of other options. Monogram canvas may be the most popular material for this particular bag, but don't let that fool you into thinking that it's the only one. A lot of people aren't fond of logo prints, I happen to be one of them, and for those people, there are Damio and Epi leather options always available, as well as whatever grace the runways that season. 4. Winter 2010 will be of particular interest to speedy lovers, the ton showed nothing but dozens of different speedies in a variety of leathers and exotics. If you want logos, however, the Tom comes up with a new version practically every season, watercolor, roses, cherries, pop art pandas, graffiti. I could go on, but you get the idea. 1. In the world of designer handbags, they're relatively affordable, despite the fact that the price of a Speedy has gone up a couple hundred bucks since I bought mine in the late 2000s, there's still something of a steal in the great scheme of designer bags. Speedies start at $890 for the 25cm monogram version, and for an iconic bag from one of the biggest luxury companies on the planet, you're not going to find a better deal. Bags with similar storied histories and famous followings will set you back thousands of dollars. I hope you like this vlog, and if you're not my subscriber yet, the button is below. Like and subscribe. Lots of love to everyone.